I think for me, coming from um, a family of dentists, so both my parents are dentists, they owned this practice for uh, the last 35 years before we took it over. Um, I love the way that they had this chemistry that worked so well at home, but also worked well in the practice. Um, and they were a team everywhere that they went. And I think when Megs and I um, first got together, we immediately became inseparable. Obviously, we were going through university together. Megan was dragging me to the library to make me revise. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it was a natural fit that we, we worked so well together in general. Um, it, was, it, it was obvious that we would therefore um, sort of go into practice together. I think Megs probably will tell you a very funny story of how we don't work so well together as dentist and nurse, because we were actually made clinical partners. But. Yeah, we were made clinical partners in our fourth year. So we've always, we've always worked together ever since you came to guys, we've always yeah. been in the same tutor group for the same part of the year, so we've always worked together on clinics. Um, and then just randomly we were made clinical partners in our fourth year. It didn't go too well. I was the best nurse for Simon, but as you can imagine, Simon wasn't the best nurse for me. <laughs> so yes, that was um, a short but a very uh, sharp learning curve. <laughs> so we don't do that so anymore. We don't do that anymore, we're just both dentists together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we've been doing it, we've always worked together basically. We've always studied together, been on clinics together, um, and it's our best, our favourite days, isn't it, when we're in the car together, chatting about work, you know, seeing each other at lunchtime. Yeah, yeah it's I think, our I favourite think, days. I think the reason why Megs and I work to, so well together as a couple is because we're a perfect balance, and I think that balance comes through at work as well, and I think with regards to the culture of the team that we, we've tried to build here and tried to um, sort of follow on from what my parents have done uh, over all those years. I think we just work together very well and um, we complement each other nicely. No, we definitely do. <laughs> I mean, it's difficult, you know, it's, it's difficult to kind of completely separate, you know, come 5.30, you know, to cut everything off and actually that's part of the that's part of the great thing that we can talk about our, our work together because you know we we understand we have more of an understanding about each other's work and what we're doing. So we do, but actually we are quite disciplined. We will we will sort of get home and be like, right, no more teeth now, no more teeth chat. Yeah. Let's talk about something else. And we try not to talk about teeth on holiday. And yeah. So I think we we've got quite a good balance, but at the same time we can talk about work, which is helpful. I think I think the good thing is that we can because we understand each other's professions perfectly, we can truly celebrate each other's successes together because we completely understand it, but also the difficulties that each of us have, we're able to fully empathise with it because some of the difficulties that you face in dentistry, like I couldn't get down the mesia buccal canal of the upper right six, <laughs> if my partner wasn't a, um, a dentist or in the dental profession, then that wouldn't make any sense to anyone else, but Megan, would completely understand yeah. my frustration. Not a nightmare that. when that happens. And that's why I don't do root canal <laughs> anymore. <laughs>